Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Honcho, back at you again with another video. And since the 6th of December 2019, if you've been keeping up to date with the channel, then you'll know that we've been discussing the Crosslon Davis murder case. Crosslon Davis, for anyone wondering, is Biss from the UK drill rap group Harlem Spartans. Now, over these past few weeks, a trial has been ongoing in regards to his murder, and today, there's finally been a verdict in regards to this situation. Now, I've already covered some of the trial, but what we're going to do today is we're going to go back over what we've already been over in regards to a timeline of events, but there is a bunch of new information that has come out recently recently which we're going to get into as the story goes on so on the 5th of december 2019 bis had been shooting a music video for the song beretta and if you guys have seen the video then you'll know that he'd been in and around kenneton for the video shoot and had been in contact with a man known as akash bagger to shoot this video at some point later on in the day they decided to travel to a location outside of London. Again, this was because they were shooting the music video. On his way back from the video shoot to head back into London, it's believed that Biss had received a phone call, and during this phone conversation, his friend Els heard him arguing with the person on the phone. According to Els, Biss had been standing up for his friend Latwan Griffiths, and you guys will more than likely know him as Lats or SA from Harlem Spartans. From what we know, according to Akash Bagger, he would come out to say that whoever was on the other side of the phone was being disrespectful towards Lats, and when Biss asked them to say sorry, it's believed they refused to do so. When Biss got off the phone to the person, he was quoted as saying, the man was not going to say sorry for something that he had never done, and it's then believed that Biss, along with the people who were on the other side of this phone call, was going to meet each other in Deptford a short while later on the 6th of December 2019. When Biss arrived at the arranged meetup area, he noticed that the people he had been arguing with were in a minicab, and at that point, it's believed Biss ran up to this minicab and tried to attack it with a mallet. In this minicab were two men known as Elijah Morgan and Jediah Param. Now, although Biss attacked this minicab, it would only last a short while because it sped off pretty much instantly. The taxi would only get so far though because eventually it was told to stop and both Jediah and Elijah got out of the minicab and were joined by two people who as of right now haven't been identified and the police are still looking for them in regards to this whole incident. So now Elijah and Jediah have met up with these two people and in turn they would go on and chase Biss and would eventually go on to stab him to death. Biss had been stabbed nine times with wounds to his head, back and chest. Also, his heart, lungs and kidney had been hit during this ordeal. Emergency services would go on to be called, but eventually he would go on to be pronounced dead a short while later. A few weeks later, news would then come out that both Elijah and Jediah were arrested and charged in relation to this incident, and so a trial was to go ahead, which has recently just wrapped up. In court, a timeline of events was laid out which we've just gone over, but what should be noted is that the majority of this incident, in fact, had took place on CCTV. Jediah would go on to admit that he was on the CCTV, but Elijah would claim that he was wrongly identified. It should be noted that Elijah didn't come to various court dates as he had been assessed by doctors as being, quote, extremely anxious. In court, the prosecution said, this case concerns the murder of a young man called Crosslund Davis, who was brutally stabbed to death by a group of four armed youths in the early hours of Friday the 6th of December 2019 in a passageway in Deptford close to some railway arches. It was a savage and merciless attack. Crosslund Davis didn't stand a chance. In pointing out that two of the four people involved were in fact Elijah and Jediah, the prosecution said that CCTV material shows that two of the four males who attacked and murdered Crosslon Davis got out of a minicab to join in the attack. Those two men had been recorded by cameras fitted to the dashboard of the minicab getting into the cab just a few minutes before the attack took place. The prosecution would go on to say it's the prosecution's case that these two males were the two defendants in court, Elijah Morgan and Jediah Param. Detective Constable Gemma Gregory would go on to tell the court that it was in fact Jediah and Elijah that were picked up on CCTV. And to basically sum up what she said, she basically confirmed the description of the CCTV footage with Jediah and Elijah. The CCTV footage also captured either Elijah or Jediah saying to the taxi driver, stop, 
until the taxi driver says, okay, no problems. This is then followed up by shouts of shank, 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 once they had left the taxi. The prosecution said, it is just as the vehicle is approaching the railway archway that we heard the word I invite the particular attention to. He would then go on to ask Detective Gregory, how confident are you that the word shank is said more than once at this time? To which she responded, yes, I am certain. In court, Jediah Param gave evidence and claimed that he and Elijah had passed the scene in a taxi and had been, quote, driving around in circles when they saw a fight erupting. He would go on to tell jurors that he only ran towards the brawl to try and calm things down, but picked up an object from the bin on his way just in case. He was asked about his relationship with Biss and would go on to say that they had crossed paths a number of times at an abandoned flat in Catford where people often met up with each other. Jedi would go on to say that over time he grew wary of Biss after Biss had showed him a samurai sword on the 22nd of September 2019 and this is when they allegedly first met each other. Jedi would go on to say that on another occasion Biss also showed him a firearm. Now when his defense asked him quote did he say what it was for he replied just general talk but not ever direct that he would do something but there was general talk about quote no lacking jedi would also go on to tell the court that he believed that biss's claims that he made in his music were in fact real and not just made up he continues to talk about how biss allegedly told him that his friends had shot a rival group from lambeth his defense asked him quote what did Crosslon Davis say about this dispute? To which he responded, he said something about a house that's been shot up in that area and then someone commented about people that were shot. The defense then asked, by whom had these people been shot according to what you heard? To which he responded, he was claiming, referring, saying like, mandem, his friends kind of thing. It was more than I thought. I thought with the music that he makes, you carry yourself a certain way. But after seeing him that time, I was like, okay, this is actually real. He continued overall that Biss was kind of intimidating, adding certain things he'd done around me. I wouldn't trust him as a friend, but I didn't have a problem with him. After the murder, Jediah claims that he fled to a friend's house where he stayed for the night and grew increasingly panicked about what had just happened. And although he claims to have been there, ultimately he denied attacking Biss in this ordeal. Talking of the attack, he said that a male known as OD had kicked Biss and he had tried to pull the pair apart. During this attempt to pull the two apart, Jediah said, I was like, chill, 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 leave him, leave him. And the other male was like, cool. His defense asked, Crosslon was kicked, could you see for yourself what condition he was in? To which he responded, he looked injured, I turned around and said, leave him, leave him, and I turned around and ran. The defense asked, why? To which he responded, because I noticed Crosslon was injured, OD was, I don't know, I pulled him away and there was nothing much that I could have done at that point. Elijah Morgan didn't give evidence throughout the trial because as you guys know, he spent a significant amount of time away from it due to his mental health issues. Either way though, after a trial at the Old Bailey, both Elijah and Jediah were found guilty of murder and possession of an offensive weapon. In conflicting reports, it's believed they will return for their sentencing either on the 25th of March 2021 or on the 26th. And so we finally have answers as to what exactly happened to Crosslon Davis, aka Biss from Harlem Spartans, on that morning of the 6th of December 2019. Now, from what I'm aware of, Biss was actually looking to start dabbling in different genres of music stepping away from just doing drill and of course now we'll never get to see that happen but i do want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to crosslon and i do want to send my condolences over to his family and friends who have been affected by his death but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the uk be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell it's been your boy Ape Pancho. And I'm out.